Ah, oh, g'day. Just wanted to talk about MLCCs, uh, monolithic ceramic capacitors. Um, mostly, um, you know, scrappers and people mostly pick them from circuit boards for um, uh, palladium and um, silver um, recovery. And um, one of the th one of the things with uh, MLCCs, one of the you know. The Probably the main problem when it comes to um, buying them is um, there. It's it's not really the problem in buying them or refining them. It's it's the it's the people that actually pick them um, because there are. Whilst MLCCs are just about on every board, every modern board you can find, um, they're not. You know there there are things on boards that also that look like MLCCs but actually not. And so the problem with um, buying MLCCs off off scrappers is is that um, a good portion of them are actually um, inductors. They're not um, capacitors. And an MLCC is a, a monolithic ceramic capacitor. Um, some of the things that look like MLCCs on boards are, are monolithic. Um, chip inductors uh, they're a totally different thing um, and um, and those chip inductors whilst they have um, a little bit of silver and they don't really have palladium um, and so what we're kind of really chasing is the palladium out of these MLCCs and the silver is uh, um, it's something that you would you know go for afterwards um, and uh, but uh, Basically, the, the, if assuming that um, all the MLCCs you pick are, are actually MLCCs, then you, the recovery rate is, is somewhere around 2% um, palladium, 10% silver. So, um, so for every one kilogram of uh, MLCCs, um, you, you should get 20 grams of palladium and 100 grams of silver. Um, that's assuming that uh, these MLCCs are actually all MLCCs and they're not, um, they don't have MLCIs mixed in with them. Um, <coughs> MLCI as in a chip inductor. Now, the way you um, identify um, any capacitor on a circuit board is um, by the code C. So a C. <laughs> um, let me bring this little server board here and we'll have a few, look at a few. Okay, now along here are MLCCs and you'll see that the, the coding every chip everything component has a code um, and a capacitor is C and then it will have a number C whatever so in this case it's C 1157 C 1081 so on every one of these is labeled a C okay um, across here um, there are also MLCCs again C C see now there's a really tiny one here you can't see it um, you might not be able to see it but it's actually labeled an L now an L stands for inductor C for capacitor L inductor so straight away that tells you that if it's an L and it's an it's an inductor then it can't be a MLCC because it's not a capacitor so the problem is that when people are picking MLCCs off boards Sometimes they'll they'll use a scraping motion, and they'll they'll as well as picking off these MLCCs, they they will they will actually scrape off these little MLCIs, thinking that they're MLCCs. And whilst they do have a little bit of silver, they really mess up the the uh, the recovery rate on an MLCC. So you can't it's very hard to price an MLCC because you just don't know what percentage of um, of them are going to actually um, be inductors and not capacitors so um, the only 
person you can really trust is yourself. And uh, if you're, you know, pretty, uh, um, you know, um, disciplined about it and, and just pick your, the, the things that are labelled with a C, um, you'll know you'll have, they're all MLCCs, and you'll know you'll have the highest palladium content, which should be about 2%. Um, now, right next to these MLCCs, you'll see that these are tantalum capacitors. They're also capacitors, so therefore they're also labelled a C, C, and and so on. Um, and so, that, this is the confusion. Now, we'll scan up the board here. Now, right here, you can also see uh, a couple of um, chips that look like MLCCs, but as you can see, this is L30. L40. These are labelled L's. Over here, that's an L, L35, L34. So these are L's. So that says that they're inductors. So therefore, they're MLCIs, monolithic chip inductors. So they don't have palladium. So you pick these off and you mix them in with these, and that's that's where the problem is. So. Um, yeah, so that's what makes it really hard to um, to buy MLCCs or put a price on them. Um, now, uh, now, here's another, um, here's just a, a, an Apple motherboard, uh, just to have a look at MLCCs again. So, okay, so it's a C, so that's an MLCC, that one is, that one is, so they're all MLCCs. Um, but again, the, there will be L's in amongst it, and and uh, and other kinds of things like little resistors. So when when people are scraping, and they're scraping off all these MLCCs in one motion. They're picking off these resistors as well as inductors, and all kinds of things, and that sort of contaminates your MLCCs. Um, I'll get a better example. Let's have a look. Okay. Bear with me. And okay, so this is a, a laptop motherboard. Um, and there'll be MLCCs all around it. Um, but uh, like looking over here, there's a tiny one, and then there's there's two next to it. These two are C's. The last one is an L. So if you scrape all three of these, this one is not going to be what you want. Um, so uh, I'd suggest not to scrape, you know, things off the boards, like like in this case, these are very tiny, but they're all C's, so they're all MLCCs. So in this case, you, you can run your screwdriver along and, uh, and, and do it. But, you know, when there are so many of them, um, and you know you can't really read the writing, then you know most likely they're going to be mixed up with uh, inductors as well as capacitors. Um, other side here, yeah. So okay, so as you can see, the MLCCs are pretty much everywhere, and you know palladium is worth quite a bit of money, you know, and uh, so they, it is good value, um, even on C. Uh, get this out of the way like on CPUs, um, even these little things are MLCCs, or sometimes they are, these ones don't look like they are, but um, there's a bit of palladium in there, MLCCs, take them off, a bit of palladium in there, um, this is a, an older slot CPU, okay, so, it's only got one here, over this side, they're all MLCCs. And usually, wherever there's a CPU, around the CPU, mostly there will be usually always MLCCs. The resistors, um, or sorry, the inductors will normally be over, over the edges somewhere doing other things. But in this case, all these are MLCCs because it's uh, directly behind the CPU. So just run a screwdriver along there. 
even the little dust that you um, scrape off. Sometimes these uh, the ceramic crumbles and all that, that's fine, just uh, you know, take it all, the dust and all. Um, and uh, you know, here's a um, here's off a, an Apple uh, G5 server. This is a uh, like a similar to a to this, a slot kind of like a slot CPU. Um, as you can see, the MLCC's running all along there. Beautiful, you know, look at that all around. Um, and every one of them is labeled C and a number, C, 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 all the way along. These ones here, so, you know, um, with 2% uh, palladium, um, there's quite some value there. Uh, other side, look at that row. You know, they're all over. And uh, in this case, if it's a server, you actually get two of these in a server. So, um, yeah, they're, they're awesome. There you go. And so, this is about the most common looking MLCC. It's got the brown, sandy ceramic in the center. Silver caps, very common. So they're all, you know, nice, good, you know, they're almost little squares. So they're, they're nice, chunky little ones. It all adds up. Here's a, pull out a bigger one. Might give you a better, better look. And a big one there. So, you know, they can get quite large. And uh, they are quite heavy. You'd be surprised how much is, uh, you know, a kilo isn't really much. Um, and so, yeah, so that's, that's them. So just make sure you don't confuse MLCCs with MLCIs, chip inductors. They will be um, uh, labeled L, okay? Where's my camera? <laughs> L. So whenever you see an L on the board, just think about loser, L, loser, don't pick it, otherwise you're a loser. No, I'm just joking, but it's, yeah, don't go for your L's, go for the C's, and, and you're laughing. Um, and just a quick rundown on the value. Uh, MLCC's, palladium, 2%, silver, 10%, one kilogram of MLCC's should give you, you know, in ideal circumstances, 20 grams of palladium, 100 grams of silver. 20 grams of palladium at $30 a gram is $600. 100 grams of silver at 65 cents a gram. This is Australian, $65. So one kilogram of MLCCs in a perfect world should net you $665 if you at the end of the refining process. So, in other words, I estimate a scrap value for a scrapper or an e-waste buyer to buy it off you, $300. Um, obviously, it, to get the 665 is a whole new process. It requires refining, and uh, so obviously there's got to be value in there for the refiner, unless, of course, you refine them yourself. That's kind of the figure you're looking at at the moment with uh, palladium um, at $730 an ounce. Uh, that's, that's US. Um, so at, at that price, really there should be, in a perfect world, there should be $665 worth of precious metals in your MLCCs providing the silver is all silver and it's not nickel or something um, and and yeah and you're able to recover the entire 20 grams of palladium from that one kilogram of uh, MLCCs so I, I, I have a feeling I've blabbed on a bit and uh, probably didn't really get to the point but um, 
this will do for now. They're a nice big one. Yeah, okay, well, that's MLCCs. They're on the, everything, um, all kinds of circuit boards, modern day circuit boards, um, well worth picking and, um, and uh, stacking for, uh, you know, for a rainy day. Um, just wanted to put me ad through, visit uh, scrapforum.com.au. Don't forget the AU. Uh, you know, chat about scrap, e-waste, whatever. All right. Okay, guys, keep scrapping. <laughs>